What's good everybody, it's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I'm going to share with you step by step how to install carpet with carpet removal and everything. So we are in a common area hallway right now, rolling up the old carpet to get it out of the way. We have a decent padding down but it is old and disgusting so we're going to roll that up, get it out so we can put some fresh padding down and get that new carpet installed. And now that the old pad's out, I'm just taking a flathead shovel to all the old staples there, getting them scraped up, sweeping up everything and we are going to get ready to lay some new pad down now in this video here instead of doing the hallway we're going to bounce from sweeping that up to jumping into the living room downstairs and dicing up the old carpet down there so once again cut it into small manageable sections with your utility blade or your carpet knife and then get the carpet out followed by the padding roll everything up so it's manageable and easy carry it out of the way and then you scrape up all the pad chunks so you get a nice fresh floor to get started on now we're in the master bedroom. It's clean, ready to rock. We're gonna go ahead and lay some good spill block padding down. We're gonna install it with padding staples or roofing staplers, pad stapler, whatever you wanna call that. Go ahead and secure everything to the plywood subfloor, staple, staple, staple. Make sure you're secure and good to go. And here is a small section we're gonna fill in. So the thing about installing pad, it doesn't have to be perfect as far as seams go and things like that. Just as long as everything's lined up and tight, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about what it looks like. It could be a Tetris disaster and it'll still operate just fine as long as everything is adjoined. Once you have everything stapled down, go around with your knife, trim everything in, and you're gonna go ahead and be ready for the carpet installation from that point. So I'm just tracing the tack strip around the room, getting it all trimmed down, ready to rock, so when we stretch it in, no padding ends up on the tack strips. Now we have a 23 foot by 12 piece of carpet here. Clearly there's gonna be a seam in the room. So we get everything lined up so that there's roughly two to four inches up each wall so I have something to kick and stretch onto the tack strip. And once I have the piece set up and rough cut in all the areas, then I'm gonna go ahead and bring the fill piece upstairs and shape that out. So here is the main shot of the carpet I just unrolled. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a fresh cut on the backing. If you're a newbie, use a straight edge for this, but if you've been in the game a while, you could use a row cutter and a top cutter, or you could just cut from the back like I like to do. Go ahead and set your seam tape under it, halfway under each part of the seam, and then cut your fill piece, line everything up. I'm gonna cut the cross seam because the fill piece is getting done in two pieces, and then I'm gonna go ahead and burn that seam. Now, when burning the seam, let the iron sit on it for about eight to 10 seconds, then slide it an iron's length forward each time for about eight to 10 seconds and continue the process till you get all the way to the end. Now, this is the seam from the master bedroom to the master closet. I'm gonna burn that on and once it cools down, I'll be able to kick the master closet on, which is a nice seven by 12. They got a good walk-in closet on this property. And once that's trimmed and tucked, the room is good to go and ready for them to bring their furniture in because they just purchased this beautiful property. So I'm going around the closet now, stretching everything on. I disappeared for a minute. Hey, there I am. And I'm gone again. There we go, kick, kick, kick. Gonna kick down this wall, get everything nice and tight, trim and tuck it. And the trimming was so confusing that Prestige came in and tucked it with me to finish everything off. Crazy how that works out. So everything's good to go. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Go ahead and click the subscribe button, comment below with any questions, and I will connect with you on the next video.